Hello, I'm Lance Zimmerman with the Cattle Facts Closing Bell, brought to you by Pfizer Animal Health. U.S. fed cattle slaughter will likely end the year 4% below last year. However, the smaller cattle numbers have not translated into a similar decline in beef production due to increasing carcass weights. The fed cattle supply will produce roughly 2% fewer pounds of beef in 2012 due to a 2.2% improvement in carcass weight. The average year-to-date weight has increased 18 pounds, reaching 831 pounds for steer and heifer carcasses. The additional weight has offset 235 million pounds of production declines from the smaller cattle population. The additional pounds have come in a variety of ways. Genetic improvement has been realized more quickly through the recent cow herd contraction. Beef producers call more of their older, unproductive cows in favor of younger heifers and cows with better genetic potential. As a result, the current U.S. calf crop is more efficient and produces carcasses with better quality and yield grade. Also, winter weather was more favorable to feed yard growing conditions this year. The warmer and drier winter improved feed conversions and growth. Fewer heifers in the slaughter mix also improves carcass weight. Heifers are currently running at 36.4% of the slaughter mix, compared to 37.1% a year ago. And finally, the cattle industry has become better at managing production. Growth technologies and improvement in cattle health and nutrition have led to more responsible feed use and improved cattle health and well-being. All of these factors increased cattle carcass weights and will likely contribute to additional production gains in the future. The fed cattle market was $1 lower on the week with relatively limited trade volume. Sales in the south were established at $125 to $126 per hundredweight. A relatively light amount of trade in the north was priced at $125 live and $195 per hundredweight dressed. Trade volumes were limited nationwide. Feeder cattle prices were even to $2 higher and calves ranged in price from $2 higher to $3 lower. Drier weather conditions have become critical to winter wheat growing regions as stockers look to add inventory and turn out cattle. Slaughter cows were one to two dollars per hundredweight higher as supplies slowed near the end of the fall run. Box beef sales were slightly lower for the week. Beef demand remained somewhat muted due to the aftermath of Hurricane Sandy and retail purchases for Thanksgiving began. Corn prices remained mostly steady this week with limited news in the market to influence the prices changing. Thanks for watching and remember to visit cattlefacts.com to become a member and receive the latest market news and analysis. The beef business has never been for the faint of heart. The pressures are real, the risks are high, but the opportunities have never been greater. So how do you sort through it all to decide which way to go? For more than 40 years, Cattlefax has led the way. Become a member at www.cattlefax.com. We're the time-proven leader in research, analysis, and information. Equipped with the industry's most powerful database, our team is impartial, objective, our vision is global, and our focus is you. Cattlefax, the deciding factor.